fraction, decimal and percent equivalents. Take a look at this. How much is shaded in blue here? There are several possible right answers. You might say half of it is blue. Five parts out of ten are blue. Five tenths then. That's easy to show as a decimal. 0 0.5. We've got ten columns and now we've also got ten rows. You could say 50 parts out of 100 are blue. And maybe you even said 50%. All these answers are correct. They're all equivalent amounts, just different ways of showing the same information. Fractions, decimals and percents are all ways of showing parts of a whole. Percent might be a new term to you. Notice the word cent in there. We know that one dollar or one euro has 100 cents. Cent means 100 and per cent means per 100. This is the percent sign. There's always some number attached to it, like in our diagram. 50 parts out of 100 are shaded. It's 50% blue. Today, I'll teach you how to show an amount as a percentage. You already know how to switch from a decimal to a fraction and from a fraction to a decimal. The key is in making a base 10 denominator. And if you can make a decimal, then finding the percent equivalent is easy. I have to show this as a percent. If I use a factor of 10, I get a denominator of 100 and a numerator of 30. 30 parts per 100 equals 30%. If I have a denominator of 100, then the numerator is the percentage amount. Easy. Now we have to complete a table of equivalents. Here's a diagram and we have to show the equivalent fraction, decimal and percent amounts. The diagram has five columns. Four are green, that's easy, four fifths. Now for the decimal. I need a base 10 denominator for that. In fact, this table would be better if we also had a space for equivalent fractions with a denominator of 10 and 100. Let's do that now. That's better. Now let's make those equivalents. A factor of 2 gets me 8 tenths and a factor of 10 gets me 80 over 100. For the decimal, 8 tenths is 0 0.8 and for the percentage, I need that denominator of 100. 80 over 100 equals 80%. A number over a denominator of 100 equals the percentage amount. This is super important math thinking and you're going to use it frequently. Let's do one more and then it will be your turn. This one's a bit different. We've got three whole ones and one quarter red. You know how to show this as a fraction. It's a mixed number, three and a quarter. What about the decimal equivalent? Three whole ones, point, and then the quarter. Well, we want a denominator of 100. Multiply by 25. Same up top. 25 over 100. The decimal part is 0.25. 3 and 1 quarter equals 3.25 as a decimal. Now, how about that percentage equivalent? We know that one whole is worth 100%. That means this is 100% and this is 100% and so is this. And here we've got one quarter, which we know is 25 over 100 or 25%. If we count these up, you'll see that we have 100, 200, 300 and 25%. Get this, we've just proved you can have an amount greater than 100%. Possibly a bit mind-blowing, definitely kind of cool. This is important stuff, so take notes from the screen to help you as you try for yourself. It takes some thinking and plenty of practice. See you next time for more about percent on Let's Do Math.